we take a partially saturated soil sample and this is the phase diagram representing it. Porosity which is denoted as small letter n of this soil sample is defined as the ratio of the volume of voids this soil sample contains to the total volume of the sample and is expressed as percentage which can be written as now as we know that volume of voids can never be zero in a soil sample value of porosity will always be greater than zero volume of voids in any sample will never be greater than total volume of that sample because volume of voids is equal to the total volume of soil sample minus volume of solids present in the sample so even when volume of solids is equal to zero volume of voids will be equal to the total volume but will never be greater than it hence in the equation numerator will always be less than the denominator hence the value of this ratio will always be less than one so we can note here that the value of porosity can never be greater than or equal to 100 percent well technically you can say a water sample is a soil sample with volume of voids being equal to zero but practically you are a jerk in soil engineering void ratio is more favored for use this is due to the fact that any change in the volume of soil mass is direct consequence of a similar change in the volume of voids while the volume of solids remains the same which means when soil mass changes its volume due to any external factors there is change only in its water content or its air content which are in combined called the volume of voids but these external factors do not change the volume of solids in the equation of porosity and void ratio we can see that on volume change porosity has two variables while void ratio has only one variable